Put my Leah voice on y'all. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. That's how I got my first. <laughs> so, welcome to What's Vibing with your girl, Miss Lovely Chanel. <laughs> it is booze or some who's or ooze. <laughs> like niggas. <laughs> well, well, you hear the music today is Aaliyah's birthday. She will have been 41. Aww. Aww. I need a little white woman from she Wendy's. She's been dead for like 20 years. It bro. doesn't matter. It doesn't. Times. You don't disrespect the princess like that, my nigga. Princess, but it doesn't matter. Like, Damn. I'm just saying, like, what are you, you going to say Damn. off for 20 years? Yes. Oh, okay. It still hurts. You knew it. First of all, they keep showing her on surviving R. Kelly, so what the hell? They're going to keep remembering her. She didn't survive him. Um, you don't think so? Yeah, she, man. In a way, she did. She mm -hmm. did. Oops. You got away. You got to hit it. Well, you got to be quicker than that. <laughs> <laughs> Stay off my man. All right, all right. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Oh, the the I need a white on, lady. Can, toy, can you be my white lady for um from Wendy? You know. Oh. I don't know how to feel about that, but okay. <laughs> you were the light skinned one in here, goddamn it. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it, but you know what? Okay. Well, you know, she's been gone yeah. 20 years. I have, as oh. Dale said. Oh, yeah. Oh. They still didn't get it. Well. Well, she still, she always in our heart, always. For all her music that we could hear on YouTube only, maybe. On Where? She's on my iPhone music. She's not in my heart, but she's on my iPhone music. Oh, cause I know it's hard on, uh, what's the other thing? Spotify and shit? That's hard. They don't play none of her music like that. Probably maybe not. one song off each album kind of thing. Coming up next, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> next. Um, there was a shooting two days ago at the Bel Air High School in Houston. That's close to home. What are you smiling for? That's sad. Oh, you're taking a picture. So, <laughs> that's so, so sad. You and your TV? <laughs> that's so sad because <laughs> found out he shot his own friend on accident. Dang. Yes. Mm. So. Where did he shoot him at? Huh? Where did he shoot him at? If you was listening by smiling, <laughs> Bel Air High School. No. Where on his body? Oh, where on his body? Again, I need my they didn't say that. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the white woman. <laughs> I didn't say <clears throat> where on his body. So the question is, where did the bullet insert his body? I don't know. They didn't say it. Oh, okay. They didn't say shooting him in the no, head. Sorry. They said accidentally shot his friend. Hmm. R.I.P. Carlos. That was his name. Rest in peace, bro. Yes. <laughs> It's not funny, but you know, we need to be more careful nowadays. Uh, please look, you know, be surrounded of your people and your spirits. Cause they'll say it was like six people in the classroom and nobody not talking. I guess when he pulled a gun out. <coughs> All right, we stop, we stop, we stop. How about Alita? No. Yes. I got you, I got you. Yes. But uh, yeah, it was very sad, very. I can't. All right, all right. I go can't. Ahead, go ahead. Drink some water. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> water break, water break. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I already have to pee. <laughs> Next, Mike. I'm sorry. I was supposed to be all I mean, sad right there. Right, so, Beyonce is like sending everybody these orange boxes of her new workout clothes, Ivory Park. Did y'all get y'all boxes? Oh, shit, she said one to me, but my office, <laughs> I work, I mean, I live at apartments, and my apartments don't accept big packages, so it was returned back. So, unfortunately, I have to go to the store and buy the damn clothes. But, yeah, she was sending everybody, you know, some workout clothes. Them some big-ass boxes. Did you see the pictures, though? Yes. Would you work out in there? Hell no. Okay. But 
is so cute, though. It is. I would wear it. <laughs> and no, ow, you right. <laughs> you know, I'll go model. <laughs> I'll go. I think hey, Marcus even got a shirt I'm, on. I'm, by oh, Park. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Charlamagne drop a drop a clues bomb. Yeah, Mike, Mike, that's when you got to do the shots fired, bro. Shots fired, I'm joking. I, I was I miss you last week. That's why I had to but throw no, one. But no, those heels though, I need those in my. Yeah. Like them burgundy ones. Was she like sending everybody like you get one like open. Beyonce, you, you know what you about can. your fam in Houston? Come through. I was there for you Come when you was girl time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was there when nobody had your back. Exactly. Until hey, you, you turned black. Like Olympia. <laughs> When she turned black, you heard me when I said that. She was all for the white folks. <sighs> Next, Mike. Lord <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So, I'll feel say something. I'll feel say TSU. <laughs> they wish. But uh, LSU won. Yay. Woo. They won. <laughs> Yay. I thought, I thought they cheated a couple of times. Woo. Purple and yellow or purple and gold. I don't know. So. I don't know if y'all saw the video, but Odell Beckham, I'm saying his name right? Anyway, he was in a locker room with the players. I guess cops was in the locker room to, I guess, be the players. I don't know. They was in there making sure the players wasn't drinking no liquor or anything. So one cop walked up to a player thinking yeah, he was drinking liquor because I heard him say, nah, ain't no brown in here. Just, I guess, Gatorade, whatever. And when the cop turned around, Odell Beckham, Smack him on his ass. It was kind of funny. And the cop turned around. He was like, like, what you going to do? And he just separated, right? Now he got one for his rest with that shit. <laughs> That's some you crazy shit. smacking you on the ass? It's like a, uh, got video, though. It's an assault on a cop. It was, he did it to the cop. You can't touch someone without consent. You just, you can't. But you're in a locker room. And I they don't celebrating know. their championship win. Like he probably felt, mm. yeah. yeah. Some people after asked the him game, if it was. they just won the championship. Like nigga. I guess due to it was a cop. He yeah, it was a man cop. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was <laughs> playing some money to the plan. Yeah, I thought he was. I thought he was in trouble for passing out. The <laughs> nah, he got he, for smacking an ass. Could y'all imagine winning a game like that and you can't drink in the locker room? Uh, college. It's college, yeah. Still, <laughs> we know they drink. <laughs> but yeah, but they ain't gonna. You, know, you got cops in there, so you don't. <laughs> but yeah, it just it was funny to me, but it's sad for him because now he got a. I mean, he got more. the money. He ain't gonna be nothing. If I was a cop, I'd be like, thank you. My ass looks so good that you want to smack it, you know? You said it'll, it's going to do what? It can't affect his NFL career. It's still a case. That's true. Uh, do you have plenty of those? They, like, real sensitive about that shit now. But yeah, I'm watching the, he didn't do it right there and did. They didn't, like, Aaron arrest the guy right there. They waited days later. What? For him to. I don't really think it's a big deal. It'll, it'll die. Take the case huh? Yeah. 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 Fresh on the run by next week, you're gonna be all forgot about. That's it. That's what I said. It's news this week, but next week, what? What happened? Exactly, exactly. Next. <laughs> it reminds me of, I say next, it reminds me of uh, House Party when we was dancing. <laughs> Marvel, <I'm> thing. <laughs> next. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rihanna wants Shaggy to audition for one of her songs. It's Rihanna. But it's Shaggy, my nigga. But it's Rihanna. It wasn't him. But <laughs> that was dope. bad girl Riri. Come on now, <laughs> it's Rihanna. He turned it down. He was like, Nah, nah. Facts. Okay, nah. we've been waiting on this album. You think it ever gonna come out still? Yeah, I'm kind of like, How you, how you didn't reach out to Shaggy though? You know, but she want an artist. But it's like, the respect. It's Rihanna. Nobody don't call but people up and be like, Hey, it's Shaggy. No. Like, if you're doing let's not old, let's not make it seem like that was his only song. Like, but yeah. No. Dude's right. a legend, like, it's the other way around. I'm not disrespecting Shaggy, but yeah, I'm just like, saying. No, but it's more no, to it than no, just the boom no, no. But damn, did, I wonder, did somebody you reach out to not, him? But it made me wonder. Thing, it's one of those things, like, it's not enough of um information in the Yeah, like. It's that. not enough information. Well, I heard that they said that the album was already done, and then so it wasn't that it was a like turn you down situation. It's that the album was already done, so it was like, hey, let me just see what you got because we're kind of already finished. Right. And then that's how he was. Like, oh, so well, he asked to be on the album. 
No, yeah, that yeah, made yeah. me wonder. Yeah, like, did he ask or did like, they call yeah. him? They're like, hey, we want you to exactly. be on this album, but can you audition exactly. first? Exactly, he asked to be on it, and the album was already finished. So mm-hmm. it was kind of like, okay, I'm gonna call what your you gonna bring to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, oh, well, he was like, I ain't bringing shit. I'm shaking. <laughs> <shanked." laughs> Which is like, it's her choice, bro. It's her album. Like, what can you really say? Thank you. That's that's my point. It's her album. I mean, she can be picky. She can be picky. Like she has pruned herself. She can make out by herself and still. No, it's not about it's not about who she is. It's just it's my artwork. I don't. It's, it's kind of like Vivi Vibe. If somebody be like, "Hey, I want to come on the show," we be like, well, "We don't want you on here." Fuck you. Fuck Vivi Vibe because we didn't want you. Like the fuck is ours. You can't sit with us. Yeah. <laughs> you can't sit with the cool kids. Take it. Can't sit with us. <laughs> The weird kids, really. You can't see it cool here kids. if you want we to. We weird as fuck. Where's Next. the bottle? You're weird as fuck. <laughs> I am. I really am. So, Winnie Houston and Notorious B.I.G. had what? just been the just been entered into the Rock and Roll mm. Hall of Fame. Good. Thank you, Good job, Mike. Mike. Yes. Yeah. Come on. I'm after kids. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Did you hear what Charlamagne said about the name? Right. The rock and roll. Like they need to just change it to the music the hall music of fame. I think so oh, yeah. too. Because at this point, it's like they're letting. Did he die in '96? Yes. Yeah. Okay, he was 24. When did Whitney die? 2012. Why? Why is it's not him? So long. I don't want to get on him. I was just why about to talk her? about that. Why took her so long to get in? Why she had to be yeah, dead this, like, for not to see herself being the hall of fame? Well, maybe it's an asterisk because all that crap she was using. First off, she didn't do crack because crack was whack. Crack was whack. <laughs> okay. Was crack like, is cheap. Show me some receipts. She was on coke. It's right. a deal. Show me some receipts. Okay. <laughs> she sniffed. She didn't burn. <laughs> you know? <laughs> exactly. But the biggie thing I can understand now, but... When I was watching. I feel, like I feel like I feel like you should be. The thing is, it shouldn't even be a rock and roll. No, but here's the thing. The, she should have been the dynamic. The dynamics of how the Hall of Fame works. It's after your career, though. Like, it's like, if you, like, say, for instance, Tom Brady, he played for so long, it's going to take him yep. so many years before they be like, all right, now you get to get in. Mm. But, but it's trash. All that Hall of Fame died. shit is trash. It's all trash. Exactly. If we pull up the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it'd be like 19 groups. We'd be like, who the fuck are they and where they come from? Exactly. And, like, 90% of them are white. So, But, like, what you fuck said, rock it's roll not roll even Rock and Roll, like, Hall of Fame really mm-hmm. anymore. I mean, it's like anybody. So I'm not so just like saying. Pop music, it really like doesn't right. even matter about R and B. Like that, that is sad that Tom Brady would have to take that long to get yeah. to. Look, the Randy Moss just made it. Randy been out the league for why years. Why wouldn't it? Who's done what he's done? Retired, bam, you're in there. Right. Top me. Yeah. Unless he died, he might get. But then soul. you gotta look at the coach too, Jimmy Johnson. That dude ain't coach in like well over twenty some years. Huh? Yeah, but he should have been in there. He like eighty years old. He he gonna only know if I'm Yeah, now nah, he gonna make it for us. He's, he's going at the end of the year, bro. Shout out to But you know what? I did not know. I was watching. Shit, bro. I was watching um, Hope is Love. What's that? It's a new show on Lifetime and Faye oh, Evans. Faye Evans was on there, whatever. <laughs> and it was talking about Biggie Small and everything. I did not know he dated Charlie Baltimore. Yeah. I did um, not know that. Biggie was knocking him down, buddy. But I did not know that she was on there like, you know what I'm saying? black, and ugly as ever. ever. However, I think she was like 17, 18 then. Hey, he loved it when they called him Big Papa, so. Just like, we fucked them all. They was fighting over there. Charlie, Charlie. He had a type. Yeah, sure. Not surprising. Next. Yeah. Thank you. What's this? So, you know, uh... Martin Luther King birthday was, I mm. believe, yesterday. Yesterday. Mm-hmm. And they be having the Martin Luther King parade mm-hmm. every month, or like the Monday after his birthday, mostly. That's what I, I always know. So they be having a parade this mm-hmm. Monday, Houston. Ooh. I never uh, been to one. my baby out of school, huh? I never Hello. been to one, so <laughs> I like to take legend to one <laughs> this year. You never been to the MLK parade? Nope. nope. I used to be in um, yeah, I've never been. been. So Have you? No, I don't waste my time on that. How you, you Dad, you feel some way about Martin Luther King too? I just feel some type of way how they Damn. killed him. And then when they Why Martin Luther King Street was on the hood? You know that? Exactly. It wasn't the hood when it was Martin Luther King Street. It wasn't. And That's every, what that turned every, Like when we went to Dallas, it turned up. Right. When we went to Dallas, it was a hood. That's why I said, like, what are we, what exactly are you, when you're doing the MLK parade, what are you exactly celebrating? Mm. 
I mean, somebody had a dream that night. Thing, I feel. Yeah, so it's mm-hmm. like I'm not. It's just nah, I'm not happy about it. Whatever. I think it's just black people I, happy. We got a day for somebody. I just think it is black. something that you do with your kids. Mm-hmm. Just to fucking morning a day. Then, but I'm just saying, like I, I think that's where that. a lot of that's that not comes the point. From. It's not the case. Why well, I'm, I'm, I'm not with you? Malcolm X don't have a day. I was just. They're not gonna give Malcolm X a day. Why? He was too many white people. Oh, I have a mic on. You get the one who who complies a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Mm. the passiveness. What they, they were like. To be but at least we have a whole month. Malcolm X. And next month's 29 mm-hmm. days. You tried it. Good. Next year. <laughs> <laughs> you tried it. <laughs> we get an extra day next tried month. Try it. Try it. Next. <laughs> so, Jillian, <laughs> Jillian Michael. <laughs> Jillian Michael say, why are we celebrating her body and not her music? I'm trying, I'm trying to act like a white woman. Smack like, him. duh. <laughs> Is it going to be awesome when she get diabetes? You know what? I want everybody to hold their thoughts right there. Because you know what? We're going to be talking this on Vibit Vibe next. Okay. Cute thing music, Mike. Welcome back to Vivid Vibe. So last Thursday we talked about empowering women. <laughs> Y'all messed up. <laughs> we talked about um, empowering women. Tonight we're going to still it. talk a little bit about um, empowering. We're going to talk about body and uh, body image and body. All right, now we're good. We're good. Go ahead. Body image and body shaming. So as she was showing with the whole thing with Lizzo and uh, Jillian Michaels. So one question that I have that we talked about on um, our Instagram was what um, what is what do y'all feel like is body shaming to y'all? What do you feel body shaming is? Now you CC. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, ooh, she knows she shouldn't have came out the house like that. Oh, well, here you go. Huh? That's an example of body shaming, right? Oh, like, oh, I was like what? what? That's what came to my head. <laughs> I was like, what? She threw me all the way out of the way. Like, what are we doing? So. Gave <sighs> How do, oh, I don't know what you want to say. I don't think so either. Maybe you should just ask mm. the question, Misha. I guess, like, a derogatory statement towards someone's body mm. type or shape or Size. So it's hating in other words. Wait, right. yeah. no, wait, you know. Judgment. No, it's like one of those mm. things. Like, put it like this. Put it like this. So, say for instance, as males, right? Just for example, <laughs> if you piss a chick off, she's gonna go for like the most <laughs> obvious thing about you mm. to shame you in a sense. Mm. That's not my problem. It might be somebody else's problem. Not my it's not problem mine. Either. It's like, but. I don't want to my problem. It's true. See that? <laughs> No, no problem. Uh, point being, what I'm saying is most of the mm-hmm. time when the body shaming comes into play, mm-hmm. it literally, to me, it comes off as, hey, like you mad at the fact you're not at what that person is at. Lizzo hasn't bothered anybody, man. Mm-hmm. This girl has literally <laughs> been in her own lane. She hasn't bothered anybody. But I feel like now that she's at celebrity status, now mm-hmm. everybody has something to say. It's not like she got big yesterday. 
Like, no, I'm serious. Right. Like, it's not like she got big yesterday. The girl has True. been that size for a while, creating her way mm. to fame. So now that it's famous, it's like now every little thing mm. she does on a microscope. Right. Yeah, she naked. Mm. So she what? Okay, but so she, this she, my thing. She's proud of her body, though. But, she, so she, what's the what's the difference? In, in all honesty, like, she's in all honesty. Yeah, don't jump on her. because no. she won't speak no more. All right, well, Slim, Slim. Uh, slim. Wait, Hold on, Slim. About? Give this Slim. No, no, this is serious shit. No, no, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm being serious when I ask you this. You're Slim. You're Slim, right? Yes. Yeah, so me. that's your name too. Man, that's the name I give. But my point is this: it's one of those things. Like, reason why I'm bringing it up is because at one point. You got. Mm-hmm. We went through this phase where it was a shame to be slim, and then now it's a shame to be big. Mm-hmm. But people don't really pay attention that they shame slim women for a long time. Like they they got on models. Oh, they don't mm-hmm. eat. Da 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 da. So, so yeah. yeah. So what I'm the reason why I'm bringing you to forefront. I'm not trying to make you say anything you want to say is with being in the slim category. What's your have thing? you ever had to experience that at any point <laughs> growing up? Um, I still do. You like, just said it right yeah, there, picking but, on her. I'm not picking on her. But why because is people, it? Like, they say <laughs> to this day, they still like, oh, do you eat? Like, and all that kind of stuff. And it mm. still bothers me a lot. So I'm like, I don't have, I mean, it's not about me eating. I just, it's genetics. Like, mm. right. I can't help my size. Right. But, it, yeah, it's been like that forever. I mean, it happens at work all the time, too. Yeah, you should, you're so skinny. You know, mm. I'm like, okay. What you want me to say? Mm. Like, right, but right. most of the time, like, okay, so for example, if you're using somebody from from work, just think right now, if the person that said it, nine times out of ten, they look like what? Yeah, they <laughs> No, it is okay to say it. Like, no, it's okay to say it. Yeah. But I'm, I'm making a point at this they're point. a little bit bigger. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, 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 what would be the example of a, of the shame on that? Well, my only example I can say is people just be so surprised. They be like, "Oh my God, you're so pretty for a dark skin." Exactly. That's their favorite thing to say. That's their favorite line, and I'm like, right. "Why you just can't what? say I'm pretty?" <laughs> like, right. So, it. so in the sense of dealing with that, which all three of y'all probably have dealt with that, where it's like, "Oh, you're pretty to be dark skin," right? Mm-hmm. So, at what point? Like, how do you like? What do you feel when a person says that? So because mm-hmm. when I'm bright. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, what do you feel when that happens? Yeah. <laughs> Cece? Cece? When you get those backward ass pros be compliments or even the ones that's insults mm-hmm. and they expect you to take them, like, somebody told me before my skin was so like. So y'all leather. take it as an insult, not a compliment. Wait a yeah. Oh, it's like I saying, oh, can I touch your hair? Basically. I, oh, I or, um. Little no bitch. You, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 exactly. <laughs> like I've been told, oh, I would date you, but you too black, and it's just like, okay, but what? You know, things mm. of that such. You too black just, for me. It's always a but. It's you're too yeah, black. It's like, always an insult. So when you're trying to compliment, it's problem. just like, I'm in between. why throw your skin color in? That's all. So, wow. I just feel that everything that everyone has said just boils down to the other person not liking their their own self mm-hmm. and self-hate and not being confident in what the f- they have going on. Afternoon going high back up. They are. But and it's what a lot they of, look like. But it's a lot of our Because that's society. what body shaming starts right. from. Yeah. Right? But, it's a, but it's a lot about, it's a lot about our culture too. Like, oh, like the, the house, house slaves, so the, house the, 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 the question one. is, a lot of it, is it self-hate or is it preference? Both. Like within but our culture, thing. it's celebrated is it, to right. not be fat, but to be thicker. So then mm. they put that on slimmer people just because in our culture, it's praised to have hips and butt and thighs. And so again, so when you don't, you they look like, at you like you malnutrition. But again, but, you're but this is what I'm watch. What I'm getting at now with Victoria. <laughs> but now with Victoria, the first thing they ask you is, "Do you eat? Are you hungry?" No, but here's yes. this. Now with Victoria, my auntie used to say, "Big, go eat the whole uh, pot." That is your genetics, mm. and to not even say no shit like that. Exactly. Right. 
There's certain so people who they can they so can hear the and exercise the, all the time. But I understand the dynamics of what I'm breaking down. But you now cutting your hair, right? <laughs> You've cut your hair. Yeah. The person behind you the curtain back you, here you, has you, short you, hair, you, but yeah. she has a hat on. <laughs> With, with, <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm breaking down different dynamics to understand that it, it goes across the board. Mm -hmm. With having short hair, now, you see a different preference from people who wear wigs or people who wear weave. Like, what do you guys intake when it comes to now that you cut your hair, you cut your hair short and yours is short? Well, mm -hmm. mine, because Payday haven't heard from me about weave. <laughs> Next! <laughs> What's yours? But you still cut your hair. You oh. still cut it. I'm just saying, cause somebody looking for me too. I got bills to pay. But uh, uh, was I was going through something when I cut my hair. So it wasn't like it was by choice. Like, oh, I cut it just be looking cute. I was actually going through some type of depression when mm. I cut my hair. Okay. Um, I yes. So, I love it. Um, I worn. I wore my hair short like years ago, and I do feel like I had a extremely just life changing year. So since I've already done it before, I know I know that I would look fantastic. You go, girl. Said, Don't okay, knock it till you I try it. Cut it off, and I was done, and I'm just over that shit. <laughs> I'm never fucking going back. Introduce yourself. You yeah. jumping on my hey, mic. Oh. Afternoon Sip. Hey, Kay. Welcome, Afternoon Sip, real quick. Give them a round of applause. They kind of hide it. Nice. Yeah, okay, there she go. I know it's... She back there eating. What you have to say? There you go. So my name is Kay. I'm from the Afternoon Sip. And for me, it was more of like um, a gradual change. I kept going shorter and shorter. But I will say, confidence-wise, I never felt more confident. The shorter I went, the more bald head I got. Right. The confidence is just... Uh, and yes. then, um, and people notice, even the men make compliments, because you're mm -hmm. not, they feel like you're not, well, the feedback was, you're not hiding behind anything, mm -hmm. like, it's just a different level of, hey, Look this is us. me, take it or leave it. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I'm happy, I'll never go back long again. And that's my reason. So, I think that's what, kind of, I'm going to say something real quick. No, not, not saying it with you. But I know with me and you, you said like, hey, you know, we was going to do a life change and whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's how everybody know when somebody going through something, oh, she cut hair, she broke her. Mm -hmm. Even for me. <laughs> oh. But on some G shit. Yeah. But no, no. That's like, to, they, to they off, think that, but, but it don't be true. But to mm -hmm. piggyback off that, men do the same shit. Yeah. Well, they cut your hair? No, you'll so see a man yeah. change like Go certain work dynamics out. and stuff, or he hit the <laughs> weight room, Go grow work a beard, out. or let his hair grow out. It's certain Get things that men do, no. Certain things that men do, that gravitate to the same thing. Right. So not being funny, because you're going to say I'm being funny. Marcus being short is still being body shaming in a sense. Mm -hmm. You're the only one clowning him. Oh, I'm, I'm fucking 6'2", like, but, but I understand. Think it's, no, 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 but no. I think it's worse for, for a lot of Don't, men. No, but it's, it's enough men, and I know he's going to speak up. Like, That's why I'm going to do it now. With us men in the room, mm -hmm. when it comes to body shaming, what are the things that we've dealt with? Mm -hmm. It's usually height, yeah. tall women like myself. size. <laughs> <laughs> we hardly get the colors <laughs> issue. It's, it's rare. It's what? Mm. It's rare for the colors issue for men, but height. I size. used to love light skinned dudes. <laughs> no, but no, go ahead. Give them the mic. Introduce yourself because they don't know you. I'm Vaughn <laughs> from the afternoon sip. Honestly, I can say, like, as far as the whole dark skin, light skin thing. Like, the guys deal with it, too. Yeah, yeah. we do. I, mean, we don't. I done got this plenty I mean, of times when I've been like women deal with more than guys. No. no. I don't I, think I, so. No, I, would, I wouldn't even say more. Yeah. I would, I would say what? it's probably spoke on you know, more said, because, because, because the guys are going to say it more. Saying, but some I'm, women I'm, have their preferences. They just, they just do it in a different way. They're not going to mm -hmm. say, oh, no, nah, you dark skin. I don't want to talk to you. Bullshit. Hold on. <laughs> I ain't like you shit. black. I don't know. Oh, I done got toe up. Hey, you too goddamn skinny for me. Bitch. That's skinny. That's, like, that's true. That's true. Skinniness. Skinniness. Yeah. Shortness. I've heard mm. short the skinny, guys. The dude that's skinny. Now she now we got to compete right. with niggas like you and you with these damn beards. I can see how people right? be like yeah. she, but, but beard she, is she the same thing. Short guys are angry. Okay, so let me ask a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so, let me, so let me ask a question. Who do you feel gets uh, body shamed more, men or women? Women. I think it's an That's even exchange. I think it's even. No, no, no. no. I feel like, no. I'm going to tell you why it's an even exchange. Mm -hmm. 
it's <laughs> for women. You have to understand, we in an era, and we've always been an era. When things come to women, whether it's good or bad, this it's always, always going to get this projection, always. Mm. So anything that the men do, it's always going to go under the radar, unless mm. it's something like negative, in a sense. Understand what I'm saying? So if you talk about Lizzo or you say something about Beyonce, it's going to hit media over and over and over. But if you say something about Denzel, or you say something about whatever fucking guy y'all fall in love with, what's the cat with the light eyes, the fucking blue girl? Mike Ely. Mike, Mike Ely. yeah. Him or Egypt. What, Egypt? Idris Elba. But these guys, Seth Rogen. Understand, understand, understand what happened to us. But, but hold on. I like Again, Seth Rogen. Hold on. Understand. Uh, hold on. That's again. So if you guys were listening in the beginning of what I said, society puts it here. For women. It's for women. It's, it's, it's a. Mm-hmm. It's, it doesn't because happen I think more it's often. because you don't hear, you don't hear about a lot. You don't of hear it about it. So no, I think it it's equal. No, I really do saying. think it's. You know equal. why you saying that? Because you don't. So let me ask you this. Hold on. So when Ruben yeah. started, when Ruben right. started came out, right? Nobody wanted. Fat him. dude, seeing Jerry Levert. You ain't never heard nothing. You didn't never. Oh, mm-hmm. But hold on. But here's the thing. They would they would say something about him being big, right? But here's the thing. He could sing. Right? Had a mm. voice like a motherfucking god. Mm. Understand what I'm getting at when I'm saying this. At this particular time, you can look at Tyrese. You can look at shit that Tank be wilding out and saying. <laughs> you can look at Nick Cannon wearing the turban. It's certain Jill things Wine that are finance. going on. Genuine with the S-curl, yeah. which I'll be sure and DeVar and did way before then. Yeah. These are mm. still considered body shaming. Yeah, but no matter how many uh, examples you can give, I can give 10 more. Uh, how? But that that's not the, the... Because that's what's projected. Right. No. That's it's society. So let me ask you this. If we, no, 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 body. watch this. I'm going to shut this shit up. Watch this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. Let her finish. Let her finish. We make a just as big a deal as about the Tyrese thing as the, you know, whenever something Give happens with the men, we make just a big, big deal out of it because why? Because they're in the, mm. you know, public eye or whatever. But it happens 10 times more. When it comes mm. to the women, introduce yeah, hold on, introduce yourself first. I'm Lee Crystal here. from the Afternoon Sip. Thank you. So when you <laughs> say that, I'm gonna let you get to your point, Tor. <laughs> Again, if I take off social media and I take off the television, can you still say that women deal with it more? Exactly. How? Because it's our lifelong, it's like history proves it. it it's, 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 Again, listen to what I just asked her. You have no social media, you have no television. You're still able? Yeah. It goes to hit back to way back to history. No, no. Let them finish. I want the smoke. Body shamed mm-hmm. from birth, from yeah, the beginning. Yeah, because we're too lanky and we're too right. Too from, from, mm-hmm. from, mm-hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, oh you so I, thick, Chanel Why are so you wearing so lipstick? That makes your lips is, look too big. This is, this is my question for the men. Do y'all body shame each other? Yes. Mm. Because I just I assaulted think, him about being short. Okay, but then <laughs> do you all, but is it? <laughs> but, but here's the thing, we don't take it personal. Exactly. So when you mm-hmm. come to comparing the body shaming versus women and men, y'all mm-hmm. joke about it and that just is it. But, the, yeah. but, but you women can't, body shaming. But Marcus might come home and cry. But here's the thing. So it's, we get it from so men no, 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 no. and women. <laughs> you about to lose your right, All right. No. So again. The men that want to have sex with us at a young age as yeah. women yeah. that we start out with extremely early, we are body shamed oh, so, from the So men don't, don't get touched early either. From the job period. Okay. So now I love I love this energy. Y'all going to lose So again. The comments are saying women. What was your what was your statement? Ms. Ames? What was your I statement? asked you about men body shaming each other. So mm-hmm. my answer was exactly what I said. I said mm-hmm. the difference between that is we don't take it personal. Mm-hmm. You sure? So you can't come cry me a fucking river and say women deal with it more because you take something you when somebody so says why, it personal. But, but why, why do me men think. not take it personal? Okay. Mm. I feel like um, that's how them teenagers be getting suicide and stuff because maybe they getting bullied at school, a dude getting bullied, oh, you this and that and that, they go home. So, I, I, I don't say y'all don't take it serious. How? No, because no, the, the what point. the hell that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's gonna be my point, <laughs> and I'm gonna continue to get cut off tonight, which is what I love about everything that goes on with women. I mean, I think we all hear you. Women, you do? No, you don't. No, I got it. You're I got what you're attempting to. to it's not an attempt; it's a fact. To your situation don't make it true for all the situations. Mm. You can't use your see, personal you experience and say it's for everybody. That, that's what it will show. It's not. If it's TV or not. It's going to be about what gets exposed more. Okay. Yeah. 
I can say without the you said without the social media without everything. Take away all that. I'm talking about everyday life. Yeah. Like you're you're saying the comparison between if guys get it more or girls get it more, there's more even to talk about for girls. There's yeah. flat chested, not having shape, not having butt, dark skin, too tall, too yeah. short, I hair, know, so all, no, all no, that. No, 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 for guys it's so tall, no, short, no, hold on, hold on. dark light, yeah. hair. So what you saying it? What you saying Never that? Had so this is <laughs> again. Thank you. Thank you. So for you to say Another that, nigga. No, but for you to I say that, that understand saying, what like, you just did. You basically mm -hmm. broke down all the dynamics of women, right? The man so you the saying thing. a man doesn't deal with the same type of breakdowns of dynamics? Saying, We're both human. I'm saying it's mm. less than what girls. How? Because there's a there's a mm. list for girls for. So, and, for but no, no, no. But you know why it's not a list for men? You're speaking to a woman. It's not gonna be a list for men. What age did it start for you though? It's the it depends because as a kid I was teased for what my ears, my teeth, and all type of shit growing up. So now that no no no, so now that I got teased and I got shamed when I was growing up, now you're gonna say I didn't deal with it as a child. Again, again, but no no, understand what? Hold on, here's the but here's the point. 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 I think mine's with tissue, so it doesn't matter. Exactly. It's still the same thing. You're trying to separate the fact it still falls under body shaming. But you were just asking which one is more. But, but, but no one's pointed out to you though. Like like, no one's, no one's tripping about a dude being fat. Is it more or less? What the shit? Wait a minute. You, what? you can play football. Men being bigger is more accepted. <laughs> hey, excuse me. It's one, two, three. No, no. Fuck that shit. Fuck up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Watch this shit. It's nine women in here. Raise your hand if you want to deal with a fat guy. In the winter time. No, 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 no. I didn't ask you if you had a problem. Answer my question. Answer my question. I don't give a shit. 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 No. Exactly. You see the dynamics? But you see the bro. You see the bullshit. No, no, no. But understand my point. When you, you ask a, when, no, you when you ask the woman, you heard the question. So yeah. scared of people they did? Hold well, on, define, we got, define we got, how big it is. We have a comment. Define we have, it. Exactly. Hold define on. It. It's always some stipulation. So what, exactly. What is it, bro? We have a comment that says, hey, we have, we have a comment that says, good conversation, so please stop over-talking each other. Oh, that means at this point, this table runs this shit. So, <laughs> that being said, <laughs> Let go of that mic. <laughs> ah, so back to the Rob running shit over here. It was good no, tonight. No, it was good. No, no it's good. good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad yeah, the dialogue like is not a problem. Your, your For our fans, we apologize. Heard. But this is what happens when you're in a live audience. You're able to still speak and mm. hear each other. Especially as men and women. Right. Each other. And, right. I, and, I, and, I, and I don't have a problem with it. But to go back to Sania's point, she broke down the dynamics of the things they went to deal with. Mm -hmm. Her question was, Oh, did you deal with this, that, and the third? I gave her a list of things, and then you tried to battle that. It's still body shaming. Mm -hmm. It's no way around it. We all deal mm -hmm. with it in different forms of fashion. So nobody can sit in this room and say, oh, well, women deal with it more than men. Mm -hmm. No. We all deal with it the same amount. If you mm -hmm. take away, like I said, take away the social media, take away the television, and take away the fact that I'm a man and you're a woman, what the fuck do you got? A human that's getting, a sh getting body shamed. Mm -hmm. That's it. What can you argue mm. with me on that point if you don't have a label? Uh, uh, you're not a, you're a human. At this point, we're all human. Mm -hmm. What's the, what's the argument? I just don't see why would you would take away the social media if that's what the world revolves around right now, bro. We were getting body shamed before social media. Exactly, yeah. but that was my no, point. Right. That was my point. And then we were body shamed before TV because mm -hmm. there were magazines. But you have to right. understand, okay, it's but this is my thing. But you it, also got to think, too, a lot in the society, It's a lot of it is, honestly, it's a male-dominated dominated world. No, it's not. Like, you got to stop saying that. No, no, it used to. Like <laughs> I'm because saying. Because that's what was put out there. That was projected. This is Beyonce world now. So let me ask you this. Uh, uh, so you're saying that, and, I'm a, and here's another thing. So you said it was a, at one, it's a, say it again. I don't want I said at one around. point, yeah. it, our society, especially when we didn't have social media, was a, a lot was a male dominated so, Male world. dominated world. So if it's a male dominated so world, why so many gay people majority think. probably so. So <laughs> so majority of the men that are out there that they say it's a dominated world by mm. us, there's a lot of things that men who dominate the world can't do. And there's mm. a lot of things that women who feel like the world is dominated by men that can do 
that men can do and they can do some of the things that men can do. But mm. again, if I'm saying, let's take away male and female and let's just call ourselves humans. Mm. At that point, do we Everybody. not all deal with the same shit? Everybody. So we it's did. not, I'm not going to say this person get more or that person get more. Everybody get mm. body slammed. Same. Shame. Mm. I was so going to say slam. To, yeah, but it's an equal to, opportunity. But to the question, back to the question sex. of what mm. Mish asks, who gets it more? It's an even. It's even. Mm. You have to say it's even because right now I won't say more women because more women in this room. That's so fine. That's right still right. fact. But the point right being, <laughs> that's the problem though. Mm. That's the problem. Think about it. Just, Go ahead. So one of the things we were just kind of sidebarring it because she was saying that she thought you were specifically asking for that kind of comparison between who gets it more, who gets it less. Mm. And one of the things I was saying to her was piggybacking off of what you said earlier about men just don't take a lot of these things personal. Mm. Women, especially now with social media, we literally go above and beyond to correct our body. Mm. Like when you really sit and look at what goes into having these body contouring surgeries that a lot of women are going to have now mm. and the position that choice. they're putting themselves in to correct their bodies to choice. fit a certain standard, which it is. Mm. It's feel, a difference versus men sit and men are just like, well, shit, this is who I am, whatever. That's I'm either going to work out of that's what it is. And so just to piggyback mm. on That's crazy how women that, are so strong on their opinions on men. You're not a man. But you just you're not a woman. That. But you just said that men don't take it as personal as women. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I'm speaking on, is the fact mm -hmm. that women go to an extreme to correct things Why? about mm -hmm. themselves because of what other people Why? put Say, as preference on But it's starting to be, Why? though, that men... Why? We actually are hard on ourselves Why? as a man. Why? Because if somebody said, oh, you too skinny, you're not like, you okay, I'm going to surge get some fat on me. You're not going to do that. You're going to say, fuck them, but if a no, man come up to me. That's what I'm trying to wild. say. I'm but then saying, there are guys, there are Y'all don't go on no knives like women do. They're starting to. Men are starting to. Or oh, men are starting to speak about it more. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Okay. And which is what I was just saying to her. I don't think it's that yes. one gets body shamed more than no, the other one. I just either. think for years, women have been more vocal about it. Mm -hmm. And it's been more put in the forefront. They never took away from the fact that men experience it as well and mm -hmm. now we're with i feel like social media has brought a lot more awareness to it because a mm -hmm. lot more men are open and vocal about saying y'all do the shit to us too mm -hmm. and so now we're starting to see that that oh, you equality know, in the way it happens but mm -hmm. i'm thinking about michael jackson that was a they good fucked example. him over. Because he had a big nose. Yeah. They kept telling him, and okay. And Black Mike was fine. Exactly. He had a big <laughs> nose. He went and got his nose fixed. Yeah, with that dirty, but... He and lied, so he had a skinny jeans. Your family, your family members are your first Vers bullies. Yes. It starts mm -hmm. with them. Exactly. If right. you have an older sibling, and that older sibling is seen as pretty, you'll never compare to her. Everybody is mm. going to literally tell you, like, oh, my God, oh, she has this, and she has that, and she has this, and that becomes your first set of, like, oh, I, why well, I don't mm. look like her. Exactly. Why I don't fit her? Like that, it starts with your family. You can mm. compare the but Michael Jackson back. thing to, uh, you know, the Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, mm -hmm. exactly. Dr. Kurz and Chloe. Dr. Miami. Exactly. Chloe was always the bigger yeah. one, and then. Yeah. And now she talk about, okay, that's what, I don't want to change subject, but now she talk about <laughs> other big women, like she was never big. Like she was mm -hmm. never. She under said, the night. She said bad mm. comments about Yeah, like she told about Jordan Wood with your fat self one time. So. But I mean, Jordan kissed she her thick. baby daddy. She probably. Her baby daddy been cheating on her before then, it's so it doesn't she, matter. But she called the other bitches that she cheated on. <laughs> that make it right? Exactly. I'm saying the heat of the moment, you're going to say. But you have to think back. You, I was that person back then. When you have nothing else to say about a person, you always attack their appearance. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Maya, saying, Maya one of our guests, uh, excuse me, one of our fans said, sometimes it's not always the family. Right. It like starts that. there, though. That's it what they, start The statement there. that was made is starts with the family. If your hair could just be a lot of nicer, like your cousin says such, such. You mm. <laughs> My cousin's always got, I was the one that got light eyes. So I'm the one that's hated because everybody put on y'all mm. that I got light colored eyes. Like, it, it starts mm. literally with your family. So yes. then for them, I became that standard of why we didn't get, as if I was in a womb, like, please give me green mm. eyes. Like, I didn't <laughs> ask for that. Or I'm the lightest one out of the family. At this point, make it so make sense. So it's just making, it, you mm. can't. It's make it make sense. It's can anybody in this room make it make sense? Mm. So we can all walk out of here tonight and agree that we all deal with the same shit, the same amount. It's nobody getting more right. than the other. Because we mm -hmm. all have different defaults about mm -hmm. each other. And we deal with Mike, it in different Mike ways. Has whatever, whatever hype Mike is, 
whatever skin your color is, whatever slim body weight is, height, hair, height, hair, slight skin, it doesn't matter. Mm. Everybody's fucking dealing with it. Damn. We all dealing with it. So at what point the purpose of this conversation was to push the envelope that, mm. hey, at what point are we gonna equality is really what this shit is about. Mm. We all deal with the same shit. We just deal with it in different ways. But Period. That, that requires people want to actually want equality in that but actual But don't use mm. that point. But My you point was. Still be comfortable within yourself too. But that's yeah, why yeah, it love, starts at. Love yourself first. Right. So what the, does it really fucking matter if I, I'm good? What does it on matter? Anybody's body, because mm. right back. Me too, because shit, I feel like I'm fine as hell. And somebody might look at me and be like, you're not. But fuck you, I feel like I'm fine. But that's the thing. What does it matter to... Most of the time, it comes from somebody who doesn't personally know you. That's true, too. Honestly, think about it. Somebody that body shames anybody in this room, you don't even have no type of relationship with her. Exactly. You can argue with your significant other. They ain't fit to hit you... With nothing, nothing like that. Not, I was but I'm saying you're not even, you don't even. When you get in an argument, honestly, when you get in an argument with Kurt, you never ever think to body shame him because of the personal relationship that's there. In a sense, you're crazy. not just thought about one time, but uh. But understand what I'm saying, I, like that's what I never body slam my man. Never think ever. about it. Anybody personally you've known, you had a disagreement, you never went at them in a body shame way. It's always somebody you don't know. Think about a time if a mm. female looked at you wrong. I don't know what this bow head hoe looking at for. Mm. Right or wrong? Bow. Y'all talk shit about we we bed. all guilty of it. Cause <laughs> first of all, I'm guilty of it. when I'm drunk, I'm introducing whoever the fuck walked through the door. Give a shit. Roast me. <laughs> it's still body shaming. But at the same token, amazing. it's it's for fun. Like I'm not doing it in a sense mm. of I'm trying to hurt you. And they don't even but hear me saying this shit. They don't hear me say it. They don't hear me say it. I mean, some I people say might say, okay, he joking, that's but go home and cry. No, no, I don't never personally come at anybody like that. Never. But outside that, if I'm just having fun, like, fuck it. But, but who gives a fuck? Honestly, if it ain't outside your fucking system, do you really give a fuck who talking about you? Vote example. No, 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 if I'm not doing nothing, I'm sitting there minding my business and you still got to open your mouth and say something about me. Why are you but staring at, point, at me? Take a picture, last longer. Yeah, that too. You can't say that. <laughs> but the point is this. Being in that, that particular situation, this is why we're having a conversation. You have to start removing yourself from certain shit. Because it's not, what I'm saying is this. You have to understand, again, we broke down. Most of the time somebody that says something to you, they don't know you, number one. Number two, it's something that you have that they don't. You have to understand mm -hmm. that everybody is different. Yeah. Nobody's mm -hmm. going to handle the situation how you handle it. So you're right. saying that yeah. that's not, you're not going to take it personal? It doesn't mean that I'm going to do the same. No, thing. I'm not exactly. saying that. So, no, you were asking her, why does she do this? To and understand why do her we take point. it personal? Like, we're just different people. If that's yeah. how we feel and if we're getting told this continuously, mm -hmm. obviously, if, in my opinion, yeah, I'm going to feel some type of way if some nigga told me something like 15 times in that same day or I heard it from 15, 15 different, people different people in that day. Like, yeah, that's going to bother me. That might not bother you, but I'm just mm -hmm. saying. It's all different perspective. I don't agree that it's just women that take stuff personal. Exactly. So I didn't agree with that comment. So definitely don't. You just said I, it. He just no, said it. No, the word. What you no, said. You said more said, women. I'm gonna tell you what you said and why. Fuck you up. And why the room about to fuck you up? <laughs> yeah, because you. <laughs> you literally openly said women take shit way more personal. See, you can't, yeah, you just but you can't that. make a statement like that. And I'm understand mm. you cannot he's make he's a statement like Jesus. that. Uh, <laughs> Not only one, you're in a room and we outnumbered. That's one. Number two. I had already made the point of Everybody the we as men don't take it personal. Women take things a little bit more personal. I had already made that statement. So for you to back. come back and say, hey, y'all taking it more personal. Now at this point, you're getting personal because the mm -hmm. statement was already put across the board. So understand mm -hmm. where she's coming from and why they feel the way they feel. Mm -hmm. Don't get upset because she's telling you where she's coming from by something and you Don't said. take it personal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Monica. Facts. Go ahead, but, uh, <laughs> I got one more thing to say. I got one more thing to say real quick. Response when you ask yeah, why. yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not pointing you out. I'm just explaining where they. I just got one more thing to say real quick. Mm. 
Y'all probably don't take personal as a man, but you never know another man might take a person. Back. You mm -hmm. can't say all men or more women, this and that and that. You can't say that because it's just three of y'all in here. Yeah. I'm not. I'm Mike not. Mike saying, yeah, because he takes shit personally. Exactly. Mike. Oh, I thought you was agreeing with me. God but damn, I do. I know. I got here. a couple of homeboys that, that take shit personally. I want to say this. Um, I hate this skin complexion because for years we made jokes about, which we didn't intentionally do it to hurt him. But you never know what hurts the person it was. Right. And to him, it hurt him. So it has given him a whole color complex that we never really have to put on him. I'm just making jokes. Like, so this morning, um, this morning, Charlemagne and them were talking about this very thing. So he said, um, everybody uh, cares what people think. It's just about how you react to it, how you vibe with it, how you, you know, how is how you're going to take it, basically. But we all care what people think. It's it's. It's a so double. No, no, but it's okay. just so how me, much of that so energy. Energy. So let me say this. Because let me, you let me might say this. I might take that negative and turn to a positive, what you're saying. Right. Definitely. You right. could. You know. It's it's so you might just take that negative. How you and react to it. To back, to back up what you said, Sunil. Mm -hmm. I don't want nobody to feel like you what I'm saying is the correct way to handle it or that's how I handle it. And he's not Jesus. Yeah, I'm not. Nowhere near it. But at the point is, it's shit that gets said about me. Yeah, I think about it when I'm back at the house. But it doesn't, mm. after a while, you, mean, you just, right? it's one of those things, like I said, I don't want to get into the point where it's like, oh, you're insecure, because that's not fair to somebody that deals with certain shit. Like, you don't know, like you said, what the next person's dealing with. Mm -hmm. So I don't want anybody to take what I'm saying is, oh, you got to be bad enough to fucking deal with this shit, fuck what people think. I can say that all day, but again, everybody in this room's not me. And I don't want anybody mm -hmm. to project what I'm saying personally is, mm -hmm. hey, that's the way to fucking do it. But I'm saying for me and the shit that I've dealt with growing up with being skinny or getting humiliated for the little things that I have, I just found a way to just be like, half the time when you start really thinking about shit, they don't know you. They ain't paying none of your bills. Like when you start putting those things in perspective, it makes you kind of like whatever. But at that point, if she's dealing with that type of shit at work, that's what they got HR for. Get them the fuck out of there. Like, that's just where I'm at with life, period. Unless they fucking HR, it's a different story. Yeah, mm. That too. But <laughs> this nigga here. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying, like, on some G shit, if you're mm -hmm. literally dealing with that and it's not from your personal peers, mm -hmm. it, it does make it complicated for you. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, say we come in this room every Thursday. We're in here every fucking Thursday. Mm -hmm. And we kind of coordinate like a family in a sense. But none of us really attack each other. And from my standpoint, you guys have always respected each other's opinion in this room. One of the biggest things in life, you can't respect somebody's opinion. Mm -hmm. If I feel like this person ugly or mm -hmm. this person fat or this person bald head, it's in my opinion. But you have to look at... <laughs> you're not bald headed. I kind of... I'm beating you, but you're not bald headed. But the point is... <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that I have more hair than you. But listen, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How? <laughs> How's that body shame? Hello. So because she decided to cut her hair and I let my hair grow out, I'm body shaming. How you? I said apologize. Like, I'm I sorry did. Think, make you think I, I said I'm sorry for having more hair. Drop a shots fired for that. Like, what did I say wrong? Did I say That's something? That's a backhanded. Wrong? That's a backhanded compliment. How? <laughs> Explain it. So, I said what I said wrong. Huh? Ouch. What I do wrong? Is it time no? What the fuck? No. I don't think you can take this. Not today. Cause you know what? Cause you need to do a uh, right good. apology. Like I am sorry for making you think. You know I, I was calling you bow headed. Mm. <laughs> but I didn't. So I'm not gonna apologize for something I didn't say. You know what? <laughs> I'm not. Next time, next week, the next fuck? place, same place, next place. Next place? Next place. Going? You done got her all discombobulated. I know. I know. I'm That's too big for her. Don't I would like to thank, <laughs> I would like to oh. thank Avenue Silk for stopping by for a quick. Avenue? Afternoon? Afternoon. 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 Yeah. Afternoon. Stop, guys. I'm, I'm, after, <laughs> afternoon. Let me do my And, and we should, all. <laughs> and we should be on, what's it called? Uh, truck. Truck cat. Truck cast. Truck cast. Truck cast. And shout out to our sponsor, Shorty Vando. Oh, yeah, Shorty. What's up, Shorty? Killed this shit. She Killed really did. <laughs> I'm, I eat my bones like white people. I still got meat on there. Oh, and that's Vivid Vibes. Oh, See y'all next week. Peace. <laughs>